let's set our own password for this instance. Now, with my password set, I'm in a clean instance with nothing configured and all ready to go. The first housekeeping things I like to do with the new instance is go under action and hit remove Debo data. ServiceNow includes a bunch of fake users and projects and policies uh, to give you an example data set. I like to remove them so things stay cleaner in your dev instance. The next step we need to do is create a mid server and a mid user to access the server. So in service now, if I head to the users table and hit new user, I'm going to create a user called mid user to keep things simple. This is the user that's going to run the actual mid server inside of service now. After I've created the user, I'm going to go back to this user mid user and I'm going to click on edit roles. There is a built-in role called mid-server that will give this user rights to execute mid-server functions. So under collection, we can type in uh, mid, select mid-server, bring it over to the roles list and hit save. Now that I have my user in place, I can build my actual mid-server. For mid-server, it can be on Linux or Windows. For this example, I'm going to use a CentOS 7 VM. Over in Calm, I'm going to order myself a VM from my marketplace to install my mid-server. After a few minutes, uh, my mid-server VM will be up, and I can SSH to this VM and pull down the package and install the mid-server. The mid-server is what allows uh, Nutanix Calm to interface with the ServiceNow SaaS instance over the internet. So now that I have my VM, I will SSH into my Linux VM. Following the ServiceNow documentation, the first step is going to be to create a folder for ServiceNow at slash ServiceNow slash the name of the server slash agent. I'm also going to adjust the permissions on this folder to allow the local Nutanix user full rights over this folder. Back in my ServiceNow instance, if we search for mid server inside the tables, we can find the downloads for the actual mid server bits. So I'm going to copy the link for the Linux 64 bit mid server and then pull those bits down to my VM. After I pull the bits down, I'm going to extract the zip file and then copy it to the directory we created in the prior step. Once it's moved into directory, the first step is to edit the config file to point it to our ServiceNow instance. So I'm going to bring up a Vim session to our config.xml. Inside the config.xml, there's three parameters we need to change. First parameter is going to be the URL of your instance. So we can just pop over and pull in the name of our instance. The next parameter is going to be the mid instance username and password. That's the username and password we created on the prior step. And last, the host name of the actual mid server that we've built. Now, with the file saved, we can start the mid server by executing a shell script. If the mid server started correctly, 
now we can run the install script to make sure that the start script runs on every boot. Great, so now our mid server is running successfully. Over in service now, if we head to the list of mid servers, we can see our newly created mid server showing up in the ServiceNow configuration. Now, before we can use this mid server for our Nutanix Calm plugin, it needs to be validated. Uh, validated will turn it on and allow uh, services in ServiceNow to now utilize this mid server. After your mid server is validated, the next step is to configure your LDAP and AD connection in ServiceNow. We do need to connect to the same LDAP or AD directory as your Prism Central Calm instance. So under LDAP, I'm going to come to create new server. Here I'm going to add my server name, my LDAP URL, and the base search directory of where I'm going to search for my AD users and groups. After I've created my LDAP server, now I need to give it credentials to access the domain. Now you'll notice we add the credentials, the connection is still going to fail. That's because the SAS off instance does not have access to your internal network. So we stop the listener and this will allow us to select the mid server that we created in our prior step. So after we select the mid server, we can update the AD connection and start the listener back. Now with our proper mid server selected, we hit test connection and we can see that ServiceNow can now communicate with our Active Directory instance. So now that Active Directory is configured, we want to hit head over to scheduled loads and execute an import of all the AD groups and users. So if we click on each scheduled job, AD groups import, execute now, this will execute a job in the background to synchronize all your LDAP groups. And we'll do the same with our AD users execute script. Now, if we want to use email, um, emails to say, hey, your servers are ready or your build failed, we need to configure an email address to send and a few other properties here. For testing purposes, I usually put in my email address to make sure things are working well. 